Hey, 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 you guys. So I am officially back. I am recording this a bit early in October. Now the footage you're about to see is everything that occurred in September. Fair warning, girl, this is gonna, this is real life stuff that was occurring at the time and it was very stressful. So let's recap and rewind and I'll let you guys know what was occurring and why I need, needed to take a break. Um, first off, you guys don't know this, but I have several underlying health issues I haven't shared. I probably plan on never sharing only because it's a certain part of my life that I like to keep private. And let me say this too, a lot of my friends don't even know this. No, you know, they know that I have a compromised immune system, um, but that's due to several health issues, okay? So those of you who've been subscribing to me for a while know that we all had coronavirus in July. You don't know is that uh, my husband was literally uh, showing symptoms for about eight weeks, you guys. He was one of those people that had a lingering cough. And so it cleared up, it, it got better and better. But you know how when you even, when you're already sick with an upper respiratory uh, virus, how that cough can linger? This cough lingered, and, you know? Um, so that was going on. You guys also know that we we're homeschooling JB. And that has been very, very challenging. Um, I wasn't anticipating for it to be that much of a headache only because one I work in education two I have resources uh, available to me everywhere um, and it's something we consider but from what I understand um, it will be this way especially depending on how long your child has been in the public system that it can be like this for until they get used to it for a couple of weeks up to a couple of months actually I did join a um, Facebook group working homeschooling moms and it seems like a lot of families are experiencing the same things that we have and are experiencing so i don't feel alone in that respect um we had a couple of home renovations going on we have carpet being installed here in a couple more weeks and so making youtube videos was not a priority even though it's a hobby and i i really do enjoy doing it it is a lot of work and so to add that on top of what I was already doing, I just did not have the bandwidth or I didn't have the time, y'all. And then I also felt that um, my I, my energy was off, very, very off, low, vib low vibrational. And not to say that you need to be up and perky all the time, but I know a lot of you guys watch me um, to be getting a better mood. Honey, you would not be getting in a better mood at, at you know what I was releasing out in the atmosphere or whatever hell it was making me depressed so no I don't want to come on and be like that all the time but with that being said some of the footage you will be seeing here in September it's a little yeah especially at the first beginning of it yeah but we did end up going on a staycation we went to Tombstone so that was fun um and so yeah y'all so Hopefully, I will have two vlogs for you guys, what we had going on in September and what we had going on in October. So, thank you guys so much for your patience. Enjoy the video. <sighs> Y'all, look at this tub around my belly. Um, I am so frustrated. Um, just finished homeschooling JB. Y'all, homeschooling has been, for lack of a better word, it has been a better word. It's been a shit show. Um, which I'm just so frustrated on. Like today, I was brought to tears because I'm I'm very frustrated. I'm frustrated at Jamie. I'm frustrated with my husband. It's just a lot. Um. So recap, girl. We are in the the second week now. It's the second week of September, and I'm waking up really early to get started for the day. Um. I'm I'm waking up really early early in the morning to get started for the day before anybody else gets early. My job is extremely stressful right now. Um, let me just say this. I'm very grateful to be able to work from home. I've been working from home for seven years now. I'm used to it. But when I tell you it's, it's stressful at my job, like it's September. And September is typically when we roll out compliance for the entire company. But we're also doing things internally. We're also switching to another system now you guys, I I told y'all before, I'm a learning management system administrator. 
Um, so technically I work in education. That's I, you know, I work in learning services. That's my department, but I work for a healthcare IT company. I've been working in education for 15 years now. So we're, we are in the middle of switching to another system. Like it's going to happen within three weeks. And I am stressed about that because it's just two people, me and another person managing 50,000 people in a system. Oh, and I have a seven year old that I'm trying to homeschool and run two, excuse me, three YouTube channels. Y'all think this is a game. This is why I took a break. So this is not me complaining. This is me venting because I have to get it out because I'm fed up, especially after today. So yesterday I had like three, actually for the past two days, I've had three laptops out. Between yesterday and today, I uploaded and edited, edited and uploaded 11 videos. Today, I said, okay, we have to start a little bit early. It's Labor Day, I'm off. Let's start a little bit early so that we could go to the park and chill out. Started at eight o'clock. We, you know, we're doing fairy tales this month. Um, you know, starting off with fairy tales. And I got this cute little book with, with black characters, thinking that he would be excited. Child, five minutes into trying to read the book, he starts playing with rulers. He starts yawning, he's bored. I'm like, okay, well, you know, do you want to read another story? So you clearly you're bored. He's like, no, 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 read, read it, read the story, get into spelling. Now we do weekly spelling. We only have six words a week at his school. He had 20. Okay. 20 a week they had to learn. So I brought it down to six. And so he writes, you know, he starts to write the words and he's like, this is about the third word girl. He's like, I'm bored. I'm I'm tired of this. I'm like, oh my God. He's this extremely bright child, but it is a struggle trying to figure out how to appe appease him to where he will enjoy learning and not look at it as a task. So one of the things that I switched it up and I really did not feel like doing shit. Let me tell you, cause I'm done. Like I broke, I told you I broke down crying midway through cause I'm talking to my husband about it. And he's just looking at me. He's like, okay, well, put him in school. And I'm like, we can't do that. Y'all, I talked to another I talked to another friend, girlfriend here. She says that the schools, let me backtrack. Phoenix education is one of the worst in the country. Before COVID, his classroom had 23 students. My girlfriend told me she went to our old school. They have enrolled an additional 400 students, 200 for the elementary, 200 for high school. She said, Vivian, there were almost 30 kids in that classroom and they weren't social distancing. So the classrooms are going to be very disruptive for the fall. I'm expecting it and I don't want to deal with that. Are you serious? I don't want to, I don't, I do not want to have to deal with multiple masks for my child. JB already said he doesn't want to wear a mask in class. Um, so if he's having to do that and social distance and all of these guidelines, which I totally understand, but to have to do that in addition to having him to try and learn when, when he was already, already struggling before this happened. That's not ideal for him. And I know he just will not thrive in that environment. He just won't. Hey y'all, just checking in with y'all while I try to straighten up this back room, honey. My husband, <laughs> y'all I'm so full of shit. My husband, excuse my language, I'm, I do apologize. My husband um, finally came back here after all this time and he was like, he's like, what is all this, y'all? All that shopping I've been doing, I hoarded a bunch of stuff back here. So I sound real country. Y'all know it is what it is. So I had a couple of dresses back here, all my nail stuff, honey. I've gotten so much nail stuff, it's not even funny. All my hair products, hair products that came in, hair pro products that people are sending me still. So. He was like, what? And oh, all these blow dryers and you guys, it, it is an astronomical amount. I, I am going to guess, including a new laptop though, you have to factor in, that's at least $1,200. I'm going to guess that I have probably spent 5,000, between five and $6,000 since March. Hmm. Easily that that's six thousand is too much around probably around five thousand dollars um yeah because you have to consider I, I bought a bunch of homeschooling stuff and so 
now y'all gonna just i'm gonna be talking to y'all while i'm straightening up my room but real quick you know things are getting a little bit better with homeschooling and you know i figured this much y'all it'll be a hit or miss certain days um one of the homeschooling moms let me sit down a and i'll get back up and clean <laughs> A veteran homeschooling mom basically um, advised me she's like you know at that age he's going to have a lot of energy like I don't know these parents who are talking about oh yeah we do Spanish reading writing uh, what do you call it um spelling and uh, science and history you know all of these people talking about they do you know they do all of these different subjects a day I have no idea who these people are I have no idea who these people are and what type of sorcery they're using to ensure that their kids do all of that every day because we can't do that. We do language arts which consists of, we do a form of reading every day, reading, writing every day. Two things that I've implemented though is a reward chart um, which we already had a treasure treasure box where yay if you, do, if you be good all, you know, all week you get an actual uh, reward from the treasure box. But this time, I actually created a chart. He can see it, boom, boom, boom. One, that's the one, first thing we did. Secondly, we implemented a lot of, well, three things actually. We implemented a lot of hands-on activity. But he's having fun and he's learning, which is what we want them to do. And thirdly, we've decided to go ahead and put him in some type of childcare when he is not homeschooling. Um, the numbers here in Arizona have finally gone down, y'all. A man, finally these people are wearing their masks. in the car I am on my well we're on our way to run two errands we are going to children's place because my child refuses to stop getting big big as hell girl going to children's yeah. place to cup pick up a couple of things yeah, because I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> two people are okay baby at the same time. I think my allergies are, are about to flare up okay sweetheart I will edit that out I will so we're gonna go to the children's place to pick up a couple of things for JB we are going to also go to Albertsons because I want some wings tonight I want Chinese wings and I want hot wings yes so give it to me mama um have I have started to work out thank the Lord finally I'm now working out three to four times a week um y'all y'all saw a quick clip of that um eating is still eh, but I need to get it together same old thing y'all but I'm not gaining any weight which is good I'm not gaining any more weight so I'm maintaining 74 75 but my goal is to is to lose 10 15 pounds um with the, you need to stop it Tim, this is the new one. Stop. That's the new one. The other one it has oh it's it's messed up. Um so yeah y'all um and I'll let you guys know we have started to do staycations because if not we will go absolutely crazy. Staycations meaning we find a nice hotel that has really good reviews, current really good reviews. We call up to make sure how they're handling COVID. Um I was even reading an article about three weeks ago, actually last month, that stated that um, hotels are actually one of the safest places to be at. One, because a lot of people are not traveling, and two, they are cleaning, and some places are taking extra measures to clean. So, um, when was it? In August, we went to Sedona. We, I didn't film it or anything, which is Sedona, and, and went to Jerome. It was very clean. I mean, baby, I can smell the bleach. And what they do is they seal the rooms, so you're the only, as soon as they're done, they seal it, so, so that you know that no one else has been going in your room, right? 
um, they also have been using UV light, everything, you know. So if you are itching to go somewhere and you, you're used to traveling and you're afraid to, look into staycations. Um, find a nice hotel. Um, what prompted me to do it too is my manager who lives in Detroit, her and her husband who is very high risk he's battling cancer right now they did staycations in their area they went outside of Detroit but they did a staycation she told me all about it how they were really taking the time to clean it and so I talked to my husband about it he's like yeah let's do it so we did that in Sedona we'll probably do this you know of course we're going to Tombstone which is just y'all we're, we're basically going to places that within two hours honestly um and we will we'll, we will probably do this type of vacation or staycations until things quiet down. Like we will, unless something drastic is happening, I am not getting on a plane. Like, no way. I'm not getting on a plane, I'm not getting on a train, I'm not getting on a bus. We'll probably take a road trip, JV. We'll probably take a road trip for JV. Are you considering a road trip for your birthday? We'll probably take a road trip somewhere that's really secluded. Like, there's areas up in Sedona, excuse me, in North um, Arizona. You guys have to realize Arizona is very, very, the geography can be very drastic. Up north, we have the Grand Canyon. It snows. We went up there one Christmas and it was like 12 degrees once. But that's just how it is, baby. So let me hush up, y'all. I'm rambling, but. Uh, I'm not buying no new clothes. What's the point? My, my big butt can barely get into the stuff I got now, so I will just, um, I have stuff I can wear. I'm, I'm not like y'all, that y'all. I don't need to buy something new to go. But all this other stuff, the quarantine shopping I did earlier this month, can barely fit it. Because, yeah, mama needs to do something. So, S. Hutchison, Shelly, I saw that she had posted a, um, y'all, she said she lost something crazy like, 20 pounds or something with no exercise in which I get it most of your weight is gonna be due to what you eat Which I need to get better about eating I met up with another mom who was like, you know what if you want me to help you we could do a boot camp I can, we can work out together and lose that weight in, in a month. I'm like girl boot camp girl. She ex-military. She wants to put me through a boot camp Uh-uh. Yeah, I'm going outside. I'm, I'm backing up. That's why the why it's doing like like all right, y'all, I'm in the back guest room preparing to pack for our trip in a couple more days. We're only going to be there for three days. And so I got JB stuff here. He got some shirts. I got some stuff here. I always pack what I'm going to wear and then my two outfits. He's vlogging too, girl. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? So we're going to we're gonna run to Walmart this morning um, just so I could pick up some groceries for when I cook tomorrow. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. And then I'll do a light light shopping again Tuesday morning. And then we're going on our trip and I'll take y'all with us. So one of the things I decided to do, what well, we decided to do, JB and I, to do this morning was to um, decorate for fall. This is something on here. I just had to talk to y'all to clean this table. Girl. Hey, you guys. So we decided to take a staycation. We're in Tucson now. Um, yeah. So we were a little nervous coming down here. We came, um, it, it didn't take long to get down here, but we were like, the directions kept saying you're about four miles away and the areas that we were passing by were rough, y'all. Very rough. I mean, trailer parks everywhere. Nothing wrong with trailer parks. Um, liquor stores, cash checking places. So we're like, um, where is our, ho where's the hotel? gonna be um it, but you know what you could be driving somewhere and literally literally within two minutes or two miles i should say the scenery changes it's like it's like they where we live it actually so um this is an okay area but there's a lot of places to go to within walking distance <sighs> still not sure what we're gonna have for dinner jb still not sure what we're gonna have from dinner but or for lunch slash dinner but i did pee in a couple of restaurants my goofy butt will probably walk my stuff over here at this Mexican food restaurant for dinner and order us some stuff but we're gonna have to settle into our hotel my husband inside right now trying to figure out if we could check in early he always does this JB move your hand baby um he always does this we always get to our destination super early and he expects that we can check in checking in is at three it's one o'clock it's so cute <laughs> You guys, we're out in the morning. This is the area. This is like some type of village plaza where our hotel is within. And um, 
they've started serving breakfast but breakfast is you know not anything especially now in hotels everything's individually wrapped hey hey don't do that do you hear me we're gonna go down to this cafe i'm gonna go down to this cafe pick up some coffee all right and see what they have we do have a stove and stuff uh kitchenette i'll show y'all some of the hotel we're moving to look my husband you guys can see some it's beautiful out here let me see we may i may show y'all this theme, but let me tell you about my husband honey can y'all see this statue you see it yeah child my husband decided that he does not like this hotel and so we're going to another hotel today so i'm like okay you know, whatever you know so let's go down here y'all um come on baby come on this child has been acting crazy in the hotel. He just has vent up energy. I just I just looked it up. Close down. The restaurant that they have here is closed. I looked it up on the way here. Yeah, that's what I thought. original 1800s Concord stagecoach. Looks like it's been around, doesn't it? A little bit like my girlfriend Kate. <laughs> the first dollar cargo of silver. A posse that was led by my good friend Wyatt Earp and Bat Masterson rode off in hot pursuit. But sadly, no one was ever punished for those murders. <laughs> All right, y'all oh, ready? No. Okay, JB, you push that too. Okay. 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 Awesome. Oh, did he say this building was haunted? Just up the street at Fifth and Allen, a bartender was emptying a keg of bad whiskey. <laughs> Say cheese, Davey. Say cheese. Hold on, let me get closer to you. So cute. Say cheese. Those some gold, baby. You know what? I'm gonna do some gold. Doc Holiday. Why 
fire after all this time. Ah, uh, so tell me, Doc. How was Tucson? Oh, the festival was a bust, if you must know. What's wrong with you? It's not even as open. Oh. <gasps> Shooting at me, boy? Come on, you're fine. Hotel. Oh, baby, don't show that. 